fun editing together that compilation of footage please get this video a big thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed it and let me tell you one thing this definitely is a strange planet we're living on that's for sure and someone needs to pinch me because i think i might be dreaming right now it's crazy to think that i was looking at these places only yesterday and if you guess correctly i bought the van <laughs> so first little update i want to mention is i didn't go to the second transfer to eastern pennsylvania because it didn't show up on the board in there in the station. I think it was on the underground part, so they had a little fire alarm test. So I walked up to the subway part and then up to the street and saw New York City for the first time. And let me tell you, dude, it was insane. 
I wish I would have got a video, but there was way too many people, so I just hopped in the Uber because I was really trying to focus on that and get to the dealership. Also, uh, somewhere in between Baltimore, Maryland, and New York, I had to take my right boot off and sock and use my little fingers to uh, trim my little small toenail because I was digging into my other toe. And uh, I'm good now and everything. And my legs down here, whatever you want to call them, leg muscle, was hurting pretty bad and they're not anymore. But that was for the long freaking walk all the way to the Greyhound bus station. And if you saw that clip earlier, I did stay at that place called the Fox Mountain Inn. It was uh, nice and everything. Got a shower and crazy to say, but I've been up for over a day, yo. I only got barely one hour of sleep there, but I did get, I think about an hour or two on the bus. So I'm good. <laughs> All right now, I guess I'll go ahead and mention the second thing in this video. Here we go. I memorized it, so bear with me. Just looking back at this whole journey, my life could have changed many times. If you don't know, I bought a professional hiking backpack where everything I own can fit in it. I have to get used to the weight and the challenge of charging my stuff, but I could have easily lived in the woods and never see people ever again if I don't want to. I also created two backup plans. The first one was waiting months to receive a long range electric bike from a company called Delfast, and the second was getting a Honda Grom street bike from a place called Mark IV in Woodfield, Virginia. Also, the van I was gonna buy didn't start, so I tried to get financially approved for a newer, more expensive one, but I couldn't because of a minimum monthly income requirement. So if anything, blame hyperinflation that's destroying this country. I'm telling you, dude, I got seriously lucky getting this thing. It's freaking awesome, dude. I'm telling you, I'm so glad I succeeded at this. And I'm also glad I saved about $300 by not getting a bulletproof vest and $3,000 by not getting a paraglider because the amount of times those things will come into use is very rare. Let me tell you, dude, I am very thankful beyond belief to God for everything. Dude, like, look at this. I own this thing. Heck yeah. This van of mine is gonna take me on so many adventures. All I gotta do is when I get back, is go to some trusted mechanic or uh, inspection place or whatever and figure out why it's shaking. Kind of like a semi-truck, but I don't want it to sound that bad whenever I get up to 40, 45 miles an hour. And uh, after that, I gotta clean this thing up. I mean, it's not that dirty. It's just, you know, some dirt on the outside, dirt on the black floor back there. I gotta get this big balk head freaking door thing out of here. <laughs> and uh, try to mount that spare tire underneath the van. And uh, I think it's a possibility I might have enough money to do some things, but not the whole build yet. I'm just gonna wait on the whole build until November or December. So I'm gonna try to get to my halfway point today. Just gonna chill. But first, let me show you where I'm at real quick. Check this out. This place is called Horseshoe Park. You got pretty much everything you can possibly have at this park. The uh, baseball and soccer fields and basketball courts are way over there on the other side of the lake. There's a pavilion way over there along with some kind of a, a like veterans memorial thing or something, not too sure. You got this big field. Then you got a uh, band shell thing over there, like a little stage. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I just rolled in here, got through with all the traffic and stuff, and, uh, yeah, everything's feeling great. Oh, yeah, by the way, I installed my dash cam in my GoPro and successfully got this thing up here, the, uh, front camera. <laughs> How cool was that? Also, my backpack is down here. Took this thing off because it was rattling. It's down there. You can't really see it. And that's pretty much it. <laughs>
check this out. There goes a balloon. There goes another one. I'm just chilling down here at Heritage Park where Tucker got always flies his paramotor. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just check him out. Check him out on YouTube. He has a, really, a million subscribers, <laughs> which is cool. I also put together like 65 of his, of his videos into an hour long compilation that you can check out in the link below. It's over on my Rise Above Play Challenges YouTube channel. 15,000 feet. What a beautiful day. That was insane. It's one of those things that is still kind of hard for your mind to process, like what just happened. Shout out to Scout, trusty Scout, coming through, bringing me all the way up. But look at this, <laughs> this is insane. I'm pretty sure he's still out west in like Twin Falls, Idaho and stuff with his uh, friends flying out there. So he's probably not here. Look at this, <laughs> this is insane looking. Looks like they're having a, uh, I don't know, a game or something. <laughs> and look, three balloons. This is so cool. Look at that. Three hot air balloons. Sky breaks my mood every morning. Then you come around. Spin my world upside down. Taught me how to fly. can probably barely see anything in this freaking video right now but uh hope you enjoyed that b-roll footage i tried to make the absolute best out of it as i could it's currently 7 30 i had a freaking heck of a time let me tell you getting down here to this place called molasses creek park so currently i have this little overhead light on just enough for me to film this clip and tomorrow morning if I can stay the night here and not get bothered, I'm just gonna keep going. Go across the bridge with the big lake and everything. Check out Kilgore Falls and point to rocks. And that'll be the rest of the video. So I'm gonna call my mom real quick. Tell her that I'm spending the night here because I can't drive at night and I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> can barely put the seat back. So. It looks like I just stalled. Luckily, I was able to pull over here on the side of the road, just around the corner from Bucktown, Pennsylvania. After that, I would have been in Coatesville, and then just wanna like navigate to the right road to get over to that uh, Susquehanna State Park in Kilgore Falls. So unfortunately, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to show you that. And pretty much for the rest of the video, it was gonna be Blue Ridge Parkway. And I'll film the interstate on the way back because I think I'm just going to call a tow truck and uh, not continue with this uh, roadside assi assistance request from Progressive. And then my older brother has done pretty much everything. Like, he knows what he's doing. Like, he'll replace the alternator on this thing and everything's good. Like, I have faith in him. And if not, then I'll just continue to work at it. You know, I'm not giving up ever. This is my van. <laughs> Alright, I just want to give you a quick update before I keep going all the way down here to where I'm going. 
it's about 24 hours later. I successfully got my van towed to the Motel 6 in Pottstown, spent the night, been calling my uh, older brother and my mom for the past day, and basically, long story short, couldn't get the $30 out of the MoneyGram in Walmart because my debit card is uh, on hold again, which is bull crap. And the bank's closed on Sunday. I already card called card, card services. There's nothing they can do. Can't buy any food. I uh, put the Chime app on my phone. I can't put any money on that. Put the Venmo app on my phone. Can't do anything with that. So I'm down to my last option. Uh, and my last, last option is my older brother coming up here to help me get gas and he'll just have to follow me back or vice versa or whatever and I refuse to drive at night so me and him will just have to leave in the morning and I'm probably gonna have to stay again at the Motel 6. That'll be my last option. My second to last option is heading down here to the Sunoco see if they sell gas cans because I successfully got $30 from my old friend Alicia using the cash app. So that's basically what happened. Oh yeah, by the way, another thing. Uh, I walked into the Motel 6 break room and stole a Hot Pocket because I was freaking starving. And it is what it is. Also, I called the police and they couldn't do anything either. And that's basically it. It ain't the alternator. It's not anything like that. I'm simply out of gas because apparently my gas gauge is working. So cross your fingers and pray for me that that works out. And again, like, if, this, if you're seeing this video, then it worked out. So... Just chilling here in the back side of Walmart. There's the uh, power plant thing with all the smoke coming out of it. How insane is that? You stand up real quick. There it is. <laughs> I'd like to make a big public service announcement. All of you are witnessing the biggest doofus Bozo the Clown in the entire world. <laughs> I shouldn't really say that because I was pretty darn tired, but I still can't believe I didn't fill my van up all the way. Should have known that the gas station sometimes does that click and I just have to keep at it. And it's insane. It's literally insane. I could have been back at the house even by yesterday. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, just want to let you know what happened after I gave you that quick update. I successfully did what I had to do. Came back. My van starts up perfectly fine. So, I'm going to call the bank tomorrow at 9, get my car turned back on. And if I can't, then my older brother will be up here with some gas and cash. So at least I'll have some fuel in the back and some cash to make it back. And, uh, yeah, for now, my mom paid for another night in this Motel 6, and she ordered me some pizza and wings and sweet tea right there. That looks pretty good. Here's my view. There's an airport back there. Bush planes fly up in the air and stuff. Bush, bush planes, how hilarious is that? And, yeah, that's basically it. Well, I'm officially on the road. My older brother stopped and uh, brought me some cash that my mom got out of my other account. And he just left <laughs> uh, because he didn't really feel like following me back. And I'm just chilling. Got some stuff from the Sunoco gas station. As you can see, still have leftover pizza. And I'm just chilling here at this little church parking lot thing. Just called my mom and updated her. There's the... Uh, intersection. Bucktown is right down there where that uh, stoplight sign is. And check this out. There is life-size worker people over there. Or oversized worker people. On top of that towing business. How hilarious is that? <laughs> oh my freaking goodness. Look, they're literally just sitting there staring, looking down. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude.
successfully made it all the way down here to the Susquehanna River. I'm just down here at the uh, Whistler's Run Park. Went through some crazy roads. Hope you enjoyed that footage. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. And there's my van. I'm freaking loving this, yo. And for now, I am going to call this baby Mr. Shaky. <laughs> because it shakes like mad. <laughs> Again, I don't want it to sound bad or anything. It is pretty nuts, though. But I just wanted to show you my leaf springs real quick. I mean, I, really, I don't really know what I'm looking at, you know. I have an idea, but... I mean, as you can tell, I mean, it looks fine. So, please uh, comment below. <laughs> if you know, you know, it, it looks normal or whatever. Looks like your average, ordinary, everyday van. <laughs> but I think just to be on the safe side, I'm going to spend six months or however much time I need to spend to save up at least $2,000 to get one of those uh, Weld Tech designed kits to replace the whole thing under there and get some all-terrain tires on here not sure exactly how much that cost but that's what i'm doing <laughs> like i just don't feel comfortable building this thing out and driving with this thing the way it is <laughs> but it's all right <laughs> so for now it's mr shaky and i will be calling it gary the adventure express <laughs> or gt for short <laughs> Check this out, buddy. I just walked down that little pathway. Look at this. This is freaking amazing, dude. Absolutely gorgeous, mate. Look at this. This is freaking awesome. There's a big rock there or whatever. There's another rock. Looks like there's a little campfire down here. And I just got some footage that you already saw. And here's the view. There's an island over there. <laughs> this is so cool, dude. I'm just chilling down here, relaxing. Uh, I think it's about 11 o'clock. And i uh, got 19 miles to Kilgore Falls. After I leave the falls, i got 100 miles <laughs> until I get to Point of Rocks. And then 45 miles until I get to the 7-Eleven in Marshall, Virginia. So hopefully I make it all the way down there before sunset. I mean, I have plenty of time, so I think I will. Thank God I left early. <laughs> And yeah, I called my mom, updated her where I'm at and everything. And for now, I'm just chilling, dude. I think after, I don't know, a little while of driving this van, I think I'll be a lot freaking calmer, you know, especially when I get back. Because, I mean, come on, man, it's this great van. I only got 100,000 miles on this. And it's just, like, I think I'm good. Hey, you never know. If I decide to uh, add this footage for my dash cam and only a video, that'll be hilarious. <laughs> I keep forgetting that my dash cam is always recording. <laughs> oh, that'll be freaking nuts to add in the video. How completely random. Holy mother of pearl. This is one steep ass road. My lord, this is straight up crazy, dude. Like, really? This killboard fall is really down here? Alright then, I finally made it down here to Kill War Falls and I decided to add those clips for my dash cam in the video, which is pretty cool. It's about 1 o'clock. And check this out. As I was driving somewhere down the road, my gas can fell into the little step. How hilarious is that? So, I'm just gonna hop out, walk down there and film this little B-roll footage that you're about to see. And then I'll keep going and hopefully I'll make it back without anything crazy happening. But look at this. It's freaking amazing, buddy. It's prime season right now.
this, dude. I finally made it over here to the falls. I hope you enjoyed that uh, viewer footage. It was pretty amazing. But I was originally way over there where that sign was. Had to walk all the way around and down this mess. Uh, those uh, natural steps. As you can see, it's pretty freaking amazing. There's a little pond back there. And I had to cross the creek. And I got my right boot a little bit wet, but it doesn't feel too bad. It's pretty waterproof. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> Check this out, yo. I just found a cave. I just crossed these little rocks over here. This under here. This is freaking awesome, buddy. Gotta move that stick to get to the other side. And then I'll hit the freaking road. But look at this. Can we freaking get this? I'm a caveman, yo. freaking goodness dude i cannot believe that i successfully made it all the way down here to point of rocks and i just want to give you a quick update now that i'm down here i uh stopped to get gas kind of just down the road from that kilgore falls after you just saw that uh footage of the drive through those amazing roads it was pretty awesome lots of nice fall colors and stuff and i'm not sure how much you saw from my dash cam after that but it has been raining freaking insanely and uh i haven't even ate my uh yogurt parfait thing yet i have been drinking some of this and i did eat some of my pop tart down there here's my little light as you can see uh you probably can't see nothing out the windows right now but i'm currently parked down a side street from the main room. There's some kind of like builder's choice factory thing here. So <laughs> it's like cool. I love van life, dude. That's one of the best things about van life is when you do van life in a blank stealth cargo van like this, they just think you're here doing work or something on a night shift. It's hilarious. It's so cool. Well, I'm gonna have to update the amount of footage I've recorded for this entire video in my calendar. In just a second, I just got to select a handful of clips for my dash cam right up there and wirelessly transfer them to my phone. Not really too sure how many they're going to be, but I do know one thing you're about to see super mega blooper <laughs> at the end of the video. Just going to make it all the way back to my building first and film my outro. I'm pretty sure I'll make it back. I just decided to stop here at the, uh, I don't know, downtown Purserville uh, trail thing or whatever it is. This was the place where I ended my trip last year, episode 16 of my West Virginia cycle ride series. I don't know if you, uh, check that out or not or whatever, but for those of you who already have, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it definitely feels weird to be here. That's for sure. I guess this will count as a little revisiting part in my video. As you can see, I sat right there in those chairs with my stuff, trying to figure out what I was going to do, because I cannot ride my bike in the rain, because it'll mess up, and I actually put it over there in that building somewhere to have it charge. The trail's down there, and I went way down there, past Pannonia Springs into Leesburg, stayed at the Red Roof Inn, how hilarious is that? <laughs> I successfully got about two hours of sleep back there in Purserville and I continued on down the road and topped off my tank in 7-Eleven and got some uh, Starbucks Frappuccino coffee thing and chocolate milk and just made it down here to Lake Arrowhead Park in Lowray, Virginia. It's pretty amazing. Got 64 miles to go until I get to the beginning of Blue Ridge Parkway and continue back. But I just wanted to show you this place first. <laughs> Look at this. Simply just walking down this road. <laughs> The entrance is right over there, as you can see. It goes like way over that way. I came from way over there. Oh yeah, and I went up and over the Shenandoah uh, National Park uh, Road Mountain thing, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty awesome. Up there at the Skyline Drive was uh, 
in my origin story video, a little picture. <laughs> it's so cool. But look at this. Lake Arrowhead pretty much has your standard stuff, like a playground, a massive field, a pavilion there, pavilion there, third one there, and then a fourth one over there. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. And this thing looks like a platform in the middle. Don't really know what it's used for. Probably events and stuff. There's a cool little tree over here with the flag and a plaque. Not really too sure what it says. And there's my van. Just chilling. Right over there. I think it did a pretty great parking job. We keep watching because I'm about to show you this beach real quick. Look at this. Boom. There's the beach. And there's the lake. Going all the way down there. And guess what? It's completely silent. <laughs> all of that scenery of my drive all the way down to Lourdes Parkway and stuff. Obviously, uh, Lake Arrowhead Park, Three Ridges Overlook, and now Otter Lake Waterfalls. Boom, check that out. Isn't that freaking awesome? After this, I'm just gonna grab a picture at Apple Orchard Mountain Overlook, and past that is pretty much just the drive back. It's not really anything interesting. And I didn't really feel like going through my dash cam footage again to add more clips. So, again, hope you enjoyed. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to wrap up this video right here and do my little outro. So, check this out. Spinning in circles. It's freaking awesome. Are you dizzy yet? Oh, this looks super freaking weird. <laughs> anyway, there's a little trail that goes down here to a swimming hole or whatever. There's a massive freaking boulder there, which is awesome. Here's a big log that's down. And then over here is the rest of Otter Creek. The sign is up there. There's a trash can up there. I parked right up there. You can't see my van because it's blocked by this big dam. And obviously, again, here is the Otter Creek dam thing or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so, I guess I'm just going to wrap up this video right here. So, like always, Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome to day one of my van life adventure. Thanks for watching. And I'll talk to you in day two of me building out my van. It might be a while. Great. Peace out, yo.
myself into seriously loose gravel oh god this is a bad idea Oh my god, I keep forgetting my dash cam is still recording! <laughs> it's probably- OH GOD! <laughs> it's probably a good idea that I know- that I, uh, you know, that I don't know, or whatever. Watch me be a storm chaser, or a tornado chaser, or that it is. Wouldn't that be insane? Oh! God damn, I almost died. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. My, my life flashed before my eyes. Now, I'm about to ready to throw in the freaking towel. <laughs> Classic saying, seriously, I'm about to ready to throw in the freaking towel. This is rain is truly pissing me off for the last fucking time. Whoa, what the hell? Are those deer? Yeah, those are deer. <laughs> for a second there, I was like, what the fuck? Wow, dude. I'm going through a cloud. Oh my goodness. This is freaking insane. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe I'll add this to my blooper as well. Dude, at this rate, I'm never going to get back. <laughs> oh, Lord, all I can do is laugh, dude. Seriously, this is fucking fun. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Ass sign that says fun. 